Good morning, Johnson Learning Lovers! Today is Thursday, September 29th. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, everyone, happy Thursday. We do not have any birthdays today, but we do have some leopard leaders to share about. From Ms. Hartwell's class, Ruby Zorn greets everyone at Johnson with a smile. She is polite and is always willing to help a friend in need. Ruby is incredibly inclusive. She plays with all of her classmates and loves working with new partners. Way to go, Ruby. For Ms. Shetler's class, Juliet Sender is a wonderful role model to her classmates. She shows respect each day towards everyone at Johnson. Juliet goes out of her way to make sure that everyone is included and feels welcome. Juliet is very nurturing and shows kindness, love, and respect to everyone. Way to go, Juliet. For Miss Bobbitt's class, Hollis Robinson comes into Johnson every day ready to be respectful. She is a great example for others in class. Hollis always raises her hand to speak and sits correctly on the carpet. Keep up the great work, Hollis. And from Miss Hicks' class, Fatuma Abdikadir is an awesome, respectful leopard leader. She shows respect by staying on task in class and being kind to her classmates. We have loved seeing all the ways you have roared, Fatuma. Way to go. And great job to all of those respectful leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson learning leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. This is Lynn manuel Miranda. So when he was a kid, he used to listen to Broadway show tunes and salsa music. But as he got older, he listened to R&B and rap. He also became active in his high school's drama program and went to college to study theater. The first musical that he wrote was called In the Heights, which they made into a movie. You may have seen that. Um, and then after that, he wrote the hip hop musical Hamilton, which also is, I think it's on Disney Plus, and it's amazing. You should totally watch it. Um, he liked Alexander Hamilton's life story, which is the story of Hamilton, because he thought it was similar to the story of a lot of rappers who achieved so much after coming from a poor background. Currently, he is working on projects for TV and a new Disney movie. So this is um, Lin-Manuel Miranda. All right, it is also National Coffee Day, which I'm sure some of your teachers in the building and other staff members are enjoying their coffee right now. And it's also National Women's Health and Fitness Day, which just reminds women to get up and be active. All right, our joke of the day comes from Zoe Freeman in Miss Giannetto's class. What is the smallest room in the world? What is the smallest room in the world? A mushroom. Get it? Y'all know what a mushroom is? So it's not actually a room, but it is the tiniest room because it's a mushroom. Love it, Zoe. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And y'all, that is all I have for today. I hope you have a thrilling Thursday and think about how you can roar today here at Johnson. We love you so much. Have an awesome day.